Hey everyone, it's Green Eyed Guide, your guide to the science behind caffeine and energy drinks. Has this ever happened to you? You go to Google or YouTube and you type in a question. What energy drinks are safe for a 16 year old? How do I know if I've had too much caffeine? What happens if I drink energy drinks every day? And instead of finding something helpful, you find something about the dangers of energy drinks. I've been studying energy drinks for a very long time, and I don't know about you, but I find most of the information on energy drinks either overdramatic or hypocritical and condescending or just boring. So today I'm gonna give you five rules to follow if you are drinking energy drinks every day and how to know if you've had too much caffeine. If you find my information more helpful than the other overdramatic or hypocritical stuff out there, please share it and give it a like. All right, are you ready? Let's get started. Remember, you can use the timestamps in the description below to skip to the section that you care about most. Okay, before we get into the five rules if you are drinking energy drinks every day, let me just say one thing. I've been studying energy drinks for a very long time. If you have any questions about where I stand in terms of caffeine and kids, please see either of these resources. I wanna keep this video under five minutes, so no, I don't think energy drinks are a good idea for everyone. So, moving on. If you had to have one fruit every day for 30 days, what fruit would you have? Drop it below in the comments and while you're at it, hit that subscribe button. I post new videos every Wednesday. Speaking as a biochemist and not as a doctor, if you are drinking energy drinks every day, there are five rules I want you to consider. Number one, don't be predictable. You've heard of Pavlov's dogs, right? If you always have your caffeine at a certain time, you're going to develop a habit and feel like you need it because of the situation, not because you're legitimately tired. If you always drink the same thing, you're gonna be like the Borg and you will adapt and caffeine will not be as effective anymore. Trust me, when you're a new parent or studying for finals, you need your caffeine to work. Rule number two, don't be exclusive. I've seen some pretty stupid <laughs> videos on YouTube, like I only drink energy drinks for 30 days and this is what happened. Okay, um, hello, don't you think there's an EMT or a nurse or a truck driver out there somewhere that's had caffeine every day for 30 days? Hello, energy drinks should not replace everything you're drinking. Obviously, you still need to drink water, you still need to drink milk or juice or whatever else you normally have. Energy drinks should not substitute 100% of your beverages. That's just silly. Also, in terms of exclusivity, you shouldn't drink the same energy drink every day. Some days you need something with a lot of caffeine. Some days you need something with a little caffeine. Also, there's a difference between drinking something like this every day and drinking something like this every day. Rule number three, don't be single-minded. There are some pre-workout supplements with twice as much caffeine as a regular monster. There's also caffeinated candy, gum, snacks, potato chips, waffles, don't just worry about energy drinks. Part four, don't be a superhero. Energy drinks are not medicine. If you feel depressed or feel like you might have chronic fatigue or you feel like the world is on your shoulders and you can't afford to slow down or take a break, you should probably talk to someone about that, not just use energy drinks to power through it. Rule number five, don't be a clone. Your caffeine sensitivity is in your DNA. Take your own body and your own diet into account when you're thinking about whether or not you need an energy drink and which energy drink to drink that day. Please, for the love of Iron Man, take it slow the first time you're trying an energy drink. Caffeine can take 20 minutes to kick in, so please give it time to do so before you consume more caffeine than you can handle. Finally, how do I know if I've had too much caffeine? Symptoms of caffeine intoxication include dizziness, diarrhea, increased thirst, please don't drink an energy drink in this situation, insomnia, duh, caffeine, headache, that's ironic because there's caffeine in headache medicine, fever, 
and irritability, which is also a sign you haven't had your caffeine yet. Serious symptoms. If you have any of these following symptoms, please call the American Association of Poison Control Centers, 1-800-222-1222. If you have any of these symptoms, please call right away. Trouble breathing, vomiting, hallucinations, confusion, chest pain, irregular or fast heartbeat, and uncontrollable muscle movements or convulsions. I hope this was helpful. Remember, if you liked this information more than the other stuff out there about the dangers of energy drinks, please do me a favor and share this and give it a like. Remember to hit that subscribe button. I post new videos every Wednesday. This is great. Wait, one more thing. I'm doing a couple of lectures this fall at different universities and schools around the country. So if you subscribe to my newsletter, link below in the description, then you'll stay informed of all the amazing and wonderful things that I'm up to these days. Thank you for watching, commenting, liking, and subscribing. Till next time, I'm Green Eyed Guide, your guide to the science behind caffeine and energy drinks. Take care.